I think we women need to wake up a lot more. So it's not this one that you come back home and you're looking like uh, Mama Yabo. Eh? Meanwhile, the man has been seeing all manner of pemperempish, cool chicks walking around in some kind of high heel. You're wondering whether their leg is going to break from the shoe. Then he comes home, meet you inside warm sleepers. Oh, God have mercy. Father, forgive me, oh. I'm guilty of it oh, many times. But oh, God will forgive all of us. You know, I carry one wrapper and tie on your chest with one t shirt under. And you're just walking around the house with the slippers. Maybe, maybe one child carried one leg, so you found another leg. So one leg is green, the other one is blue. <laughs> or yellow and orange. And you're just moving around. One is size seven, one is size two. <laughs> Just moving around the house, highly jabberized. Your hair is in a state of disarray. And you know, what amazes me about us women is that when we are going out, you, the woman will take time, she will arrange her cloth, she will tie her wrapper very well, she will do her hair, comb it, do everything, rub her down her face to go to the office or go to anywhere she's going. Then when she comes back home, hey, this cloth, the heat these days, eh, is too much. Hey, she'll just peel the cloth to get fresh air and then carry what? Shower cap or hair net and cover the hair. Say, so, oh, why are you wearing hair net in the house? And so that the hair won't scatter so that when I'm going to office tomorrow to be neat. Eh. So who is meant to see the hair in a good state? Is it the office or the husband? Who did you do the hair for? The hair, my dear sister, was done for the man. It's not for your office colleague. You know, we like to go, so that don't mind her. Today she will see me. She will see that I wore a correct dress. She will see that I put, um, what is it called? Brazilian. She will know that I had 120,000 to do my hair. Let them see me now. So you are going out to pose for the rule in the office and then you come back home. The husband who should look at you and admire you, you are giving him hair net and shower cap and, and wrap on your chest. Pastor's wives, take note. Your husband is standing and looking at a group of people every day. Then when he comes back home, he's looking at only you. Let what he's seeing in the house be better than what he was looking at. All day. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Let what he's seen in the house <laughs> be better than what he has been looking at. You know, they are, they are standing on an elevated place. They are standing like this. They are standing and they are looking. And they are looking at iri iri daban daban. Different, different. Color, color. Different, different. When they come home, let them see what is better than any color, color, the daban, daban, the iri, iri that they saw. Eh? Iri, iri is different, different. Yes. Daban, daban is also different, different. Color, color is different colors. Eh? So let them come home and see the record, which means that it is possible today this is what you want to sit at home. Tomorrow, wear another one. Next tomorrow, wear another one. At least, since you cannot bleach your skin and change your color today and then turn to a black person tomorrow, your color of your face can't change. But let the color of the dress change now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ensure that the memory of who he left in the house remains with him all day. So it doesn't matter how many secretary or how many anybody he saw. 
Inside his brain, he said, no, what I left at home is better than this. What I left at home is superior to this. The effort is worth it at the end of the day. 